Hello world, from whichever time zone you're catching me from, my name is MD90. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you do not miss the uploads that come out. And uh, the easiest way for you, for you to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist. You'll find videos curated for you based on your interest. So if you're interested in the Kutika podcast, you'll find a playlist for that for news and trends. There's a playlist for that, Excl exclusive with MD90, a bunch of uh, playlists that are created based on your interest. So the easiest way to navigate the channel is head straight to the playlist and you'll find what you're here for. Now consider becoming a member of the channel. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is the join button. You click on the join button uh, so that you can become a member of the channel. Uh, you support the team on the production and the number of things that we're doing here and uh, we appreciate that. Gary Combo is in the news today. He's been off the grid for a while. He's just been operating uh, in his uh, ministry, not trending for, for a couple of months, I would say. Uh, very active, but just not uh, in the news. So today, it turns out uh, <laughs> he's been in the news. So uh, there was a ceremony uh, taking place, a traditional ceremony, Mutomboko traditional ceremony uh, that took place a couple of hours ago. And uh, Gary Combo was there, and uh, this is what happened. So now the, this particular section was uh, posted by the Patriotic Front. So this version, take it with a grain of salt. Um, whether this is what I, this is exactly what happened, but uh, this is what the Patriotic Front say. They say UPND leave the Umtomoko ceremony in protest. Uh, United Party for National Development ministers, led by uh, local go uh, government and uh, rural development minister Honorable Gary Nkombo, have uh, angrily left the Umtomboko ceremony after Mwataka Zembe refused uh, them to deliver their keynote speech, citing the persecution of his sons, uh, who are Honorable Chilangwa and Honorable Chitotela, who sits uh, among the 15 parliamentary by-elections that UPND wants to create uh, this year and change the constitution when they have the majority number of numbers in parliament. So the alleged uh, agenda for the UPND is to change the constitution. They keep on pushing this uh, narrative for where you <laughs> to say UPND is trying to change the constitution with regard to uh, moving it back from the 50 plus one to the simple majority. Uh, so that's what they're referring to there, to say they, they make those changes uh, so that when we get to vote in 2026, uh, it's no longer 50%, it's just a simple majority. That's what they're referring to there. Yeah. And uh, also, Munia um, Zulu was at a ceremony, and then he says, Langa at Mwata Nasheta, meaning that uh, Mwata Kazembe is upset and he has done that to Gary Combo, not allowing them to speak at a ceremony. So Gary Combo and his uh, other ministers uh, decided to walk away. It wasn't benefiting them. So this is uh, Munia Zulu, and uh, the lady, I've just forgotten her name, she's a member of parliament, the one that was also was, got bent, and also the one that had uh, screamed at President Haka in the HMO when he was giving uh, addressing parliament at some point. Uh, it should be Jean, Jean Senga, yeah, uh, Jean Senga, the lady in the middle. And then uh, we've got the Nkana MP there, uh, Binwa Mpundu there at the ceremony. Um, so these are some of the pictures that they had shared from that particular ceremony. So the Patriotic Fund further say, uh, Gary Nkombo, Alicia Matambo, Brenda Tambatamba uh, protest and leave a uh, ceremony for not making them guest of honor. So they keep telling the two sides of the story here, you say They say they left because they're not given the opportunity to give their keynote speeches. And then now it's because they say they are not uh, cited as guests of honor. So you can see, but overall, Gary Combo is alleged to say he had left that ceremony in protest for something. So these are some of the pictures that were taken while the minister was still there before he left the ceremony. So these are just attendees that were sharing uh, those pictures. So Smarty goes say, cabinet ministers led by Honorable uh, Gary Combo denied the opportunity to speak at the um, Tobogo ceremony, Mwata Nasheta. So... And then uh, um, Sepela in the comment section says, His Royal Highness is shown his authority and influence there. But unfortunately, as you may be aware, so this uh, picture is a uh, heartbreaking of Ngoza, widow of uh, Madada IBA Director General uh, Gautira Muleya, 
uh, lays the wreath at uh, at his grave after a burial in Lusaka this afternoon. So as you may be aware, there was a murder case that happened, should have been 48 hours ago or so, uh, where the IBA director, uh, Mr. Gautilia Mlea, was shot dead. So that's his wife there. Uh, his burial was today uh, in Lusaka. Pretty much everyone was there, both the opposition and uh, government representatives were there. But here is a report <clears throat> how the, the, the case has played out at, at, at this point. This is the official statement coming from the police. So they say, four apprehended in the murder of uh, IBA boss. The Zambia Police Service would like to inform the public that today, uh, July 27th, 2024, four suspects have been apprehended in connection with the murder of Mr. Gautilia Mlea, the Director General of the Independent Broadcasting Authority, IBA. Among the suspects uh, are two uh, regular police officers and uh, one reserve uh, police officer. And the, the fourth is a member of uh, the public, a civilian they mean. Um, in the course of the investigation, the official, I mean, official motor vehicle of a uh, deceased has been recovered. Additionally, the police have, all, have so far seized two motor vehicles, three firearms, two pistols, and an AK-47 rifle, cash totaling to 129.300, uh, I mean, point three hundred. look at the, so the amount, post, uh, the amount of 129,300 kwacha, assorted knives and uh, various electronic gadgets, including phones, hard, uh, hard drives, and flash disks from the suspects. The investigations into the matter is uh, progressing well, and we are sure the public that uh, they will be informed in due course. However, we are mindful that the premature disclosure of certain details may jeopardize the, the ongoing investigation. We would like to extend our gratitude to the public and their cooperation uh, to serve, I mean, and support during this investigation. Our sincere condolences go to the family of Mr. Gautia Mlea and uh, the members of our staff at the Independent Broadcasting Authority during the, this difficult time. Uh, Ray Amonga, Police uh, Public Relations Officer. So those are the details. That, that's the official statement that has come from the police. So as you've seen, police, other police officers were involved in this murder, unfortunately. And uh, those, that, that, that amount of money is uh, being mentioned there. So let me just read the amount of money that is mentioned here again, which is 129.3 watcha. Uh, uh, so that's the amount of money that's involved there. Uh, and then obviously um, the, the Kalimba also reports on the murder, say um, Leia's murder case uh, is, was an inside job. Uh, from the IBA investigations have revealed. So you see, um, they say the person, the, pe the people behind the sponsoring of those alleged police officers that committed the murder, seems like they were paid uh, from an inside uh, staff, uh, a member of staff from the IBA to do this. Uh, this is according to Kalemba. So they say the brutal murder of uh, independent broadcasting authority director general Gautier is an inside job are financed by his, uh, his workmates, according to the latest information. That's according to Kalemba. So you see the divergent sides coming from the police and uh, the general public. So further to say, this is still in the article published by Kalemba. So without giving uh, the identities of those uh, apprehended, Amonga, meaning Ray Amonga, the police spokesperson, revealed that the two of... Uh, Two of the, them were regular police officers, while the other was a reserve police officer, and the fourth was a civilian. So among us, said besides the arrest, four um, uh, besides the arrest of the, the four police, have also recovered. Pretty much repeating the same article that the police had published there. But the UPND wasn't having it. The UPND has published the faces, the names, the IDs of uh, <laughs> those involved. The Patriotic Fund also reposted this uh, particular uh, news. So they say uh, justice will, will prevail, um, when, uh, referring to Cornelius Mweta, Chief Government Spokesperson. So information and uh, media minister, Cornelius Mweta says justice will prevail 
over the death of Independence Broadcasting Authority Director uh, General uh, Gautia Mulea. Uh, Mr. Mweto has acknowledged that the police have already arrested four suspects in connection with uh, Mr. Mulea's death. He has also described the death of Mr. Mulea as a great loss to the nation and his family. Meanwhile, Mr. Mweto says uh, Mr. Mulea was uh, a visionary leader who had committed not only to take IBA to greater size and also uproot financial in, uh, in, inappropriate uh, mis misappropriation in the institution. So it seems like that's what the reason for his murder was. So now this is the side. The, the UPND pretty much just published everything. <laughs> so you could see the, the, the police had withheld the identities of uh, those police officers that were alleged to be involved in this particular murder case. Uh, but uh, uh, the official page of the ruling government or party has revealed all those details. So let me start with this one before I come to the reasons why it's alleged. So they share those images that you see on the screen there, and then the details where the police officers were, were, were working. Uh, everything is there. <laughs> you see it on the screen there. The, I don't know what you call it. Is it called man number of a police person? Everything. They've shared here yeah, the edges of the alleged uh, police officers that are involved here. Yeah. So that, I don't know if that works well for, for the government, uh, where the police withhold information, but the ruling government publishes, I mean, the ruling party publishes that information. So they say the person that was involved in this particular thing, the police inspector, I mean, inspector general was right. Uh, we have junkies in the police service, uh, referring to those police officers that are involved in this murder case. Uh, this is still the UPND posting this. And then they share those photos, and then they say killer cops. They say deputy constable, and then another person, they name those people there. So they started sharing these, these details after the police statement. Pretty much all the information that you need to know about the alleged people that have been uh, apprehended by the police, everything has been published on the UPND page. You can go there and see it. So killers of uh, Mr. Gautiam, they received 100,000 each from their sponsor with one of uh, them having fled uh, the country, uh, police sources. So they say, oh, pretty much that, 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 that should amount to like 400,000 kwacha, if it's four people that are involved, allegedly according to what the police have uh, published. So according, according to the UPND, say each of those uh, suspects re received 100,000 kwacha or to do this murder, uh, pretty much. Uh, yeah, now they, they, they are the reasons they, they cite to say uh, the IBA director had started investigating uh, some financial irregularities that were happening in the institution, the IBA, and that's what uh, prompted whoever sponsored these police officers to, to do the thing. So the, here's what the UPND highlights say. One, the boss told him not to leave uh, for Australia for a two-year school program because their department uh, is understaffed, uh, so they allege the person still left uh, for Australia. And then two, HR told him not to travel and does not uh, clear him, meaning he still traveled. So they are citing, it seems like they, they are they're pointing to an individual here. This is still the, on the UPND. Three, the boss gets assassinated before clearing him. Uh, that's uh, three. Uh, four, uh, he skips the country for Australia a day after killing and uh, a day before the burial. So it seems like they, they, they know the person that they're targeting here, and that person has fled the country. He's in Australia, allegedly, at this point. And five, is a police reserve who claims to have uh, connections and loves uh, good living. So they, they've got an identity here. They're just uh, putting two and two together. I say, no, he's wearing a black tie. He's got a black hair kind of thing. And six, Meanwhile, both accounts and uh, procurement departments are under audit investigation. So they, uh, that's the sixth. Uh, and then the disclaimer there, they say, ah, guess I'm watching too many investigative channel, um, channels on DSTV despite uh, load shedding. So they just laugh it off there to say that's one way they clean it out. Pretty much we, we were to get for the official statements from the police, but these, these all, all, the, all the details that haven't been published by the police you'll find them on the UPND page. Uh, 
uh, the ruling government party. You will find them there. Everything has been published. Their faces, their and their other, other mounts. So these are pictures that were taken. Pretty much everyone was there. That's the Mano Mwamba at the funeral. So uh, this, this was posted by the Patriotic Front. Patriotic Front chairperson of information and publicity, uh, Mano Mwamba, was among hundreds of mourners that gathered at uh, Miracle Life Family Church to attend the farewell service held for the late Independence uh, Broadcasting Authority director, Kaltiyam Lea. So that's that. Kaltiyam uh, was killed after identifying one of uh, the killer cops uh, carefully hired by corrupt IBA workers wanting to hide their trial. So uh, that's what the UPND alleged to say uh, the person that hired those people to kill their boss is a member of staff at the IBA and he was, to, he or she was trying to hide this trail of uh, irregularities and they published an article there. Uh, pretty much, they, it seems seem like the UPND has, has cracked this code. I mean, they've already sorted out this this case because everything is there. Everything you need to know, all the details that hasn't that that, that haven't been published in the by the police, you will find them on the UPND official page. There, and then she had a response there. I really hate it when uh, fools take a tragic uh, death of someone as something to use for their political um, expediency. Nanguma politics, sure, have compassion. So I don't know who is striking. Is it the PF in this case or is it the UPND? Only Chief Eteari knows what he means by that statement. Uh, what is uh, Patriotic Fund say? Police investigator, uh, investigators seek authority from President Hichilema to summon uh, Sylvia Masebo. Seems like this Sylvia Masebo story is, is not going anywhere, <laughs> no matter how much you try. Each day is uh, some new publication. Even the Osida. So if you remember Osida, um, there, there's a break, breakaway. There's uh, one element where um, uh, Bishop uh, Christian Pundu is, and then there's this element which support, supports government. So there are pretty much there are two factions, just like uh, we have two factions of the patriotic front, one for Edgar Chagwalungu and one for Mao Sampa. Same thing with this particular association. So the, the people you see on screen mostly support President Haka in the HDMA, but uh, they, they, are, they issued a statement that is contrary to that, so they say this. Uh, reshuffles of, um, reshuffling ministers is the start, but suspension is better, or CEDA. So our uh, Civic uh, Duty Association, or CEDA, has uh, expressed cautious uh, optimism regarding the recent uh, government reshuffles, but emphasized the need for more decisive action to address the systematic issues. So you could see, they're trying to insinuate to say the president should have acted uh, more decisively with regard to that shuffle of Masebo and uh, those other ministers. Uh, but uh, at this point, it has been established uh, the president is not going to do that. I don't know why people keep on pushing it. But anyway, they are free to, to try. Uh, what is Mao Sampa says, sad reading uh, that some police officers were part of uh, the gang that murdered uh, Gautiri Amrea in cold blood. Thought the reserve wing was uh, abolished for some abuse reasons. Uh, very un-Zambian criminal act. Zambia police should uh, reassess and uh, and recruit all its uh, workforce. So simply says uh, there is need to for a clean up in the Zambia service. And then he asks questions to say wasn't that, that thing of uh, police reserve abolished at some point? How come there was even a police reserve uh, that was involved in that particular murder? That's what Mao Sampa asks. But this image is what has caught the general public. The wife has lost her husband there. Uh, in that, but one thing that is commendable is that the police have worked swift in this in this case. Uh, they, they, they say people people say the police does not work until the police are looking for you. This is one commendable thing. The, the, the speed at which the this case they've, they've sorted out a lot of things. Yes, they've uh, appreciated a lot of information that has come from the general public. That's one thing. But uh, they, they've worked swiftly. Uh, it's a very commendable effort from the police. Um, and like leaving things hanging, uh, this case pretty much has been sorted out, just giving us more details that, that are yet to come. So pretty much it's, it's either confirming those informations that have been published on the UPND page or something contrary. 
uh, we are yet to get all those details from the official uh, police statements coming up. Anyway, that's the news, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night. I don't know if it's good morning, wherever you're watching it from.